Um, I have a lot of people to thank, but I'm going to do that individually. Um, but I've been blessed for 20 years to coach at my alma mater. Um, the only other coach that had more years at their um, alma mater was certainly Jimmy Beheim. Um, October 28th, 2011, I signed a contract. And I told Paul Schlickman that no matter what happens, I don't want, to, I don't want an extension, okay? I felt 20 years um, was what I wanted to do. And probably three weeks ago, Paul came up to me and said, would you like to do this a little longer? And this is when we're probably three and 18, three or 19. I really appreciated, you know, his offering me that opportunity. But I said, no, I want to, I want to stay with uh, what I told myself I was going to do five years ago. So I appreciate what what Paul did. Um, I'm proud of a lot of things here. Uh, one of the things I'm proud of is that anyone that stayed, played, and stayed here for four years graduated, and the, except one person. I went to every graduation, and I got a little emotional. Um, because you recruit these young men in high school and then you see them develop and grow into, into young men. And uh, I'm proud when I, I see them, um, you know, turn the tassel to the opposite side. Uh, I'm proud of the coaching tree that we've developed here. Um, we have people that have coached here. We have four head coaches and we have six assistant coaches at high levels. So, you know, I'm supportive of them and, and vice versa. So I'm, I'm proud of that. Um, the the uh, last couple of years have been a, a little bit challenging for us, um, as the record would say. But I have a lot of good things that I know are going to happen here. It might take another year or two. Um, but what you saw tonight was a team that had poise, had some toughness, and they, they willed it to win. And um, that's what we did. We made free throws, which we really aren't that good with a free throw shooting team. But tonight, it was a little different. Um, so we uh, we created an uh, acronym when it first got here 20 years ago. And it was H-A-T, OK? And we have it in our locker room uh, sign. And H stands for humble. And T uh, A stands for appreciative. And T stands for thankful. And I want all of our players to live by that acronym. And uh, I think they've done a good job of, um, of using that in life. Um, I am uh, proud of the community service that we've been involved with. Friendship Center, Alzheimer's, Interval House, Hoops for the Homeless, and our guys get involved. And plus speaking, at, we had a clinic here for some sixth graders last night. so. Real pleased in how our kids handle it. Say, uh, I'm going to be like a doctor, okay? I'm going to be on call for Central Connecticut. So anytime they would need me for something, all I have to do is call. And I'll be here to do whatever I can to help this university, of which I'm, I'm very proud. Um, tremendously good people here. And uh, so, and so before you ask me what, am I going to do uh, in the future um, after this year? And if I gave you people a thousand um, guesses, you would never guess what I'm going to tell you. And this is dead serious. This is what I would like to do. At holiday time, I would like to be a Santa Claus. Okay? I, wanna, you know, I know you're stunned, but I want to be um, who, what profession where somebody retires wants to be a Santa Claus. So I guess you'd say I'm a little bit unique. I don't have to put any weight on. I put a pillow in there, and I just like to sit and have kids sit on my lap. And um, so that's my that's one of my goals, to be a Santa Claus. Um, strange as it may sound, but um, I'm, hap I'm happy tonight. I, what you saw was uh, some of the future. Um, we have five freshmen on the team. We have three sophomores on the team. And they're all going to grow together. Um, we have a good give and take. You know, I think our chemistry is good. And, you know, sometimes when you're going into tonight with 3-22, and 22, uh, you know, if you came to one of our practices, uh, you wouldn't think we're a 3-22 and 22 team. Uh, coaches were positive. 
players were positive and they worked hard. And that was an example of that was tonight um, when we worked hard for 40 minutes. So anything that you want to ask, um, fire away. I just told them no. I just told them no. They were happy. <laughs> Get rid of Howie. Okay, fine. <laughs> no, um, yeah, a few heads were down. But, yeah, I, I didn't want to tell them. And I, they probably knew with all of the social media that goes on. But I wanted to tell them after the game, not before the game, but I wanted to tell them. I didn't really want it to, I guess you should say, leak out from sources. Um, because I didn't want it to be a distraction, but maybe I should have done this a couple of weeks ago. We might maybe have some more wins. But anyway, uh, I'm happy that you know they're happy, and I'm happy that you know I'm proud of the team and I'm proud of the school. Howie, when, you, when we get to next fall and another season starts, what do you think will be the, the things you miss most that will be the hardest for you to do without teaching? Teaching basketball. Uh, that's one thing I'll miss: camaraderie of coaches and just players, you know, and we try to recruit players with a high level of um, character. I would say that is, ex is, is ex an example again this year. So that's what I think I'll miss. You know, th there may be more things, you know, I've been doing this for let's see, th three years of JV at New Britain High School, three years at Greater Hartford Community College, two years as a volunteer, five years Nick McCotchick hired me at, uh, at Canisius. He, he played basketball for my father in high school, so that was the connection. And then it was um, 14 years with, you know, four with Don Perno and 10 with Jim Calhoun. I was blessed that he kept me on staff. And then coming here and C.J. Jones hired me. And I probably wouldn't have come here unless it was C.J. Jones who reassured me that you know, good things can happen here if, if, you know, if we work at it. So I called three people. Um, I had a list of people that I was going to call, like last night, um, to thank them, but um, or just to tell them. But I, I didn't do that because I didn't want people to say you know, all these good things or whatever it might be. So I just called uh, two other people and I called uh, CJ tonight and thanked him for hiring me and appreciated. Um, I was the best man at, a, at his wedding, I might add. Um, so we were teammates, and classmates here at Central Connecticut, and. I always think there's a bond at Central Connecticut for, you know, basketball players, like the last well, 15 to 20 years, they have a summer uh, picnic, okay? And a, a very big majority of, of them return. And they reminisce and they probably have stories, how, Howie's stories, and I can't believe he said this, I can't believe he did that. Um, but they play softball and, and that's good. And the, the friends that I have, were for teammates, former former teammates, and I'm, I'm proud of them. I'm proud the fans came out and supported the team as much as they did. Will the next few weeks be difficult? How are the remainder of the season? Um, I, 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 I didn't expect it to be what I thought it would be. Okay, last night um, I stayed in the office for like 45 minutes or so and, and just thinking my – and the last home game is, um, you know, when I leave my house and get in a car and drive here in the locker room and climb up the stairs for the first half and the second half, you know, and then getting on the court, knowing it'll be my last time, you know, four years as a, uh, four years as a player, fresh, you know, freshman didn't play then, and then 20 years on the sidelines, of which I was honored to um, be a part of Coach Dietrich's uh, coaching tree and where he coached. Um, yeah, that might be, but I resigned myself to, to that. And, um, and again, I just want to thank Paul Schlickman because he came up to me a while, you know, three or four weeks ago and said, you know, if you want a few more years, be happy to you know, help you out. But I said, no. If the record was reversed, would you? No, no, no. I, I guess you'd say I made a vow to myself and uh, I wanted to stay with it. Anything else? Okay. Do you have, I know it's like picking a favorite kid, but do you have like a memory that stands out? Mm. Mm, no, we've, you know, I, I, uh, the other day I, I, I listed what I thought were tough players, 
you know, tough players um, you know, would back down from nobody. I came up with 11, and uh, I probably could have come up with more. And so with those, like other players that played here, uh, I'm very proud. But I don't have a favorite. I guess you'd say who's my favorite player. Everyone that's played here is my favorite player. They've gone on. They've graduated. They've done good things um, in their lives. And I would like to think they follow the humble, appreciative, and thankful model that we have. Hey, guys, have you always fouled up three in the closing seconds? No. First of all, this year we didn't have the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> and last year we didn't have the opportunity. But, um, yes, you know, you know, they say it's 50-50. So we knew that he was going to miss that shot um, on the, the second free throw on purpose. So we just hoped that you know, we would garner the rebound, which we did. But, yeah, that was, that was the strategy. So... Sometimes it works, I guess, and sometimes, like you say, it's 50-50. Tonight, it worked.